so now let us start making the circuit so before that let us have a look at what things we are going to require so first is that we would be requiring an Arduino Uno then the second one is that we would be requiring a breadboard then a few of its kind of the wires that are the jumper cables then a buzzer and the most important is the MQ2 gas sensor now I will show you the gas sensor first keeping all those things aside now let us have a look at what this gas sensor looks like so here it is there is a wire mesh where the gas is actually sensed up and the internal chemical sensor is been heated up so here you can have a look at it is a MQ2 gas sensor then it has the four output pins now let us see the left one is the A0 then the next is the digital 0 that is the D0 then the third is the ground and the last one is VCC so this blue color part is the potentiometer and then there is a LED here one is the power LED and another is the digital zero LED but we won't be using the D0 we will be only using the A0 pin so here it is now you know the Arduino Uno board and all of its pin by now so this is all we will be using so now let us start making the circuit So I have plugged in the gas sensor here. Okay. That's good. So for better adjustment, I have removed off one of the side of the my breadboard. I do not recommend you to do such kinds of things so now let us go ahead with some of the wires here so better find out the VCC pin on the Arduino and so here is my VCC pin that is the 5 volts as shown on the Arduino and then this second one is my ground pin and I would give both of them as marked on my breadboard I have already marked some things so the red wire is connected on the red line and the black wire is connected on the black line ok so now I have a buzzer here I would just connect the ground of the buzzer I have connected the ground of the buzzer and left the VCC here now according to the schematic diagram I have to connect the VCC of the buzzer to pin number 10 so I have connected it there that is my buzzer is been powered up by pin number 10 now let us go and wire some of the things so I have found up a red wire a black wire and I am having a white one so now take the VCC from here and just plug it down here on the VCC pin of the sensor now take another connection from the ground pin connect to the next pin okay, here it goes and now just leave one pin that is the digital zero pin and connect it to the next pin that is the analog zero pin and plug it into the F5 
so according to the code now i have completed it now let us have a look at it so here goes my vcc and ground which are from the arduino to power up the breadboard then these two vcc and ground are from the breadboard to the sensor this is the data pin analog data pin from the mq2 gas sensor to the a5 of the arduino uno and this wire goes for buzzer I have connected the ground of the buzzer on the breadboard and whereas the other one is connected to pin number 10. So now I have connected my Arduino and I have uploaded the code and changed the angle of the camera. I have taken the breadboard to the end of my desk. So here is the sensor, the Arduino board and the buzzer so i would like to warn you that when the smoke is detected the sensor hits up a lot so keep away from touching the mesh of the sensor once you have tested it so now for the sensor i would i won't be available with a lot of smoke but i would be using an incense stick for the same so here is the incense stick and now my sensor is reading the value around 177 and 178 I have changed my threshold and put it around to 300 so now let us see what happens now the sensor has been given the smoke okay even the 300 value is not enough for the smoke sensor but you can have listen here so as soon as the smoke gets gathered near the sensor you then the smoke alarm is triggered see that's off so as I move it away let us have one small test it I take it too much layer see here it is I move it away and the sensor is off once again so the sensor is ringing oh it's off here it is it is ringing so it requires a lot of smoke to be detected so you better change the values as threshold values as per your requirement and that's it so you can use any of its kind so i better clear off my smoke emitting incense stick so you can use a buzzer and led for visual displays a buzzer provides the audio audio signals then you can use leds lcd screens touch screens and sms alert using gsm modem and whatnot you can try and do all every possible thing using this so good luck with this mq2 sensors i hope you all like this video and thank you for watching it